so I just got here to Northern Kentucky. I'm about an hour behind the brothers, and uh, I don't know where they're at, but I could tell by the sound. It seemed like a quiet university, but I could tell by the sound they must be up here. repentance? Is he preaching faith in Jesus Christ? He is, and those are the points that I respect. Right. But then he goes off on tangents all so, the time. So how do you how do you uh, how do you evangelize the lost? I I'm John, by the way. My name's John. What's oh, your name? I'm Doug. Sorry, if, if I had a free hand, I'd shake your hand. I don't, and honestly, I wish I did. Okay. Like I go to church every Sunday twice most of the time. Right. And... Well, you know, you're being disobedient to God if, if you're not going out and, and preaching His gospel. He commands us to go out into all the world and to preach the gospel to every creature. You know, I do so. understand that. And I, I was right. telling my friends about. You know, I was like, yeah, he's making a good point here, and I'm like, well, his point there. I'm like, but you know, other Christians see it as this because. What denomination are you guys? You know, I'm, I, I don't affiliate myself. I don't affiliate myself with any, um, you know, any, any institutional church or organization. I can't speak for, for Jesse, but I know he's a spirit-filled Christian. I know he, yeah. he, he follows and obeys Jesus, and he's led by the spirit, not by flesh, you know. Yeah. So I can't speak for, for Jesse, but I, I'm not a member of any organized religion or, or denomination or, or anything like that. So right, I'm a member of the body of Christ. You know, I believe there's only one true church, and that's those filled with the spirit of God. But, you know, we, we teach, you know, faith in Jesus and obedience to him. And if you truly love him, you'll obey him. And, it, you know, you really can't be a Christian if you're not uh, going out and, and trying to multiply and make more disciples. You know, we have to, I do you, 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 can't, you can't have a light and just hide it under a, a bushel, the yeah. Bible says. So, you know what I mean? So, well, you, you know, know, like they always say, you can't be a mechanic just because you stand in a garage and hold a wrench. But. Exactly, exactly. And I wasn't planning on, like, videoing you, but I was just videoing when I first came up because I was, I parked in the garage and I, I didn't know where he was at, yeah. but I heard the sound, you know? It's pretty easy to find them. Right, right. But, um, you know, the question is, is Jesus pleased? It's Doug, right? Yeah. Is Jesus pleased with you right now? I mean, really? Honestly? Yeah. He's not pleased with you. So what? what? So why do you think that you can tell this man who's living a holy and righteous life before God, and he's coming out here, um, you know, not taking money from the university or anybody else. He's coming out here to preach the message, which... You know, that's, those are the words of, of God. That, I, Jesus said that. I understand so, the words so, of God, but he's preaching them through what I'm perceiving as anger. I know, but I mean, the, but you, but by your own admission, you've done admitted that you are not living for God and God's not pleased with you. So just talk to me here. I mean, how do you, how, how are you able to judge righteous judgment against him when you yourself are not living righteously? I'm not, like I said, I'm not judging because like I said, I respect what he's doing. I'm just suggesting maybe there's a better way to do this. Okay. Not stand and yell to the masses while they scream back. And but no don't you agree that they've got, you've got, he has their attention? I mean, he has their attention, but it's for the wrong reasons. Well, like, you know, you know, I, who, you know who Miley Cyrus is. It's not for the right reasons. Well, she has the people's attention. She's a disciple of Satan. She's leading people to hell. He's out here sharing the words of God. So whether or not we agree with how he does it, 
He's, he is presenting the message, and it's everybody here's choice. It's everybody here's choice what they'll do with that message. Obviously, there's probably not going to be anybody right now that comes up here and, and just totally confesses and forsakes their sin. But you don't know that the seeds that this brother is planting or other brothers are planting, you don't know what's going to happen tonight when these people are at home. You don't know what's going to happen day, if God has mercy, days and weeks and months down the, down the road. You, even you yourself, you might get onto you know his website or another brother's website or or whatever, and, and you know you may you know be edified by that. You may be encouraged by that. And, and God may prick your heart because I can't save you. He can't save you. You know, we're just planting the seeds. And that's what God's called him to do. And, and that's all that matters. Hey, I'm sorry, but I got to get to class right now. But All right. No, nice to meet you, Doug. Nice to meet you, Doug. Yeah. Yeah, John. Okay. Move to China. Move to China. in China. He can say what he wants. You can, you can say what you want too. But don't touch him. I'm not touching him. Am I touching him? How are you open-minded? Give me a Google alert. You preach that every woman is a whore, that every man is a whore, another whore. Everyone is a Human, I'm He's going to have to conclude that homosexuality is 
How do you define the virgin birth as not natural? How do you know Mary didn't go down on herself and get pregnant? Find the Mary, the Virgin Mary. Then it wasn't natural. Then it was obviously a sin. It was supernatural. It was Jesus coming, a man, fucking another man in the ass is supernatural, and you girls going at it is very supernatural. It was supernatural. Yeah, I know. I've seen it. I've been on the internet. Jesus, who are you here with? I'm here with the college. You're here with the college? Are you here with uh, You're valid points, but I feel like what he's coming at us is his own personal beliefs just coded in God. He puts up the word God and then preaches his own beliefs at us. So is he preaching repentance? Is he preaching faith in Jesus Christ? He is, and those are the points that I respect. Right. But then he goes off on tangents. All Set up for Zen Northern Kentucky? I, I represent one of the students. Are you here with Brother Jesse? Um, yeah, we. I knew he was going to be here. I just got off work. Because uh, I have, like, I respect what he's doing, but I don't feel like coming at us in anger is the best way to do it. Anger? He's here because he loves you. He's here to tell you the I truth. I understand that he's here because he loves us, and he has some. So I just got here to Northern Kentucky. I'm about an hour behind the brothers, and uh, I don't know where they're at, but I could tell by the sound. It seemed like a quiet university, but I could tell by the sound they must be up here.